Good, good morning, everybody. It's Gina. I'm back to share with you my latest journal. Um, this one's just been completed. <clears throat> I've been working on this one for a while, and I'm um, really happy with how it's come out. It's a two signature, and um, as you can see, it's got a lot of vintage laces. This has got a lot of uh, vintage ephemera in it as well, so I'm just going to get started with it. The closure is Sorry Silk. And this <clears throat> closure has not been attached to this journal, so this can just be taken off and put away. Um, so that way it's a little bit easy, easier for when you're journaling in it. Um, so the spine, you can see multiple layers of fabrics and laces, and then the back cover. This has got uh, some collaging of old piano paper, old dictionary, uh, old image from a housekeeping book I've got and some old uh, pattern paper and some embossing and then the front here this is a um, it's got uh, some vintage music sheet some gesso uh, embossing old mother pearl button there beautiful button and um, so let's just go on inside here it flips open here and you've got <coughs> Just various bits of ephemera and a tag that I've altered. I've made a little fabric pocket, fabric uh, belly band here, another old button that's been stitched there, and then I just had some extra paper. I did a bit of stamping on that, tucked that in, and then this is an old um, postcard of Paris that uh, I picked up a couple of books of these recently and um, I'll show you real quick. They're uh, this sort of book. I think I picked up three of these and I've got them buried in my stash. <laughs> but uh, these are really old postcards. So I Include some of those in the journal. Some writing place here and uh, on this little another little pocket here and then a altered tag and that flips over and then you've got this um, <coughs> coin envelope. There's nothing in it but you can add some items uh, inside there so there's a, quite a bit of writing space but um, this has got, uh, I've tried to embellish this one quite a bit, and as you can see, a lot of layers of fabrics and, and laces on this, and it's just I know another old uh, mother pearl button there, and then this little pocket, <laughs> I've made this little tag, and then that's some old, um, <clears throat> it was a, um, opera book. I think it was early 1900s and I've just cut down and tucked so you, you can see that when this is outside of the pocket. I wanted something of interest behind it. And so this one, it's a lot of florals but um, a lot of vintage to this this one you can, you can see. And I've done some gessoing, a lot of collaging here. And then this I've created a little, this was a tea bag that I had uh, tea, tea dyed and then I've just cut out some tags and layered those and then stitched around it so I, I like the way that's, that looks and it has a nice feel to it. You couldn't write on it but it's just more interest within the journal. Another old button here <clears throat> and then just some extra journaling um, with some old book pages um, here and then of course you could add something, a photo here, or more journaling here, and then this has just been left blank. So going within, I've got two signatures, and I don't know off the top of my head how many uh, pages that will be in the description, because uh, this will be listed in my uh, store. Once the video goes up, you'll you, it will be in there. Here's um, 
I've done a double fabric ruffle there with an old button and then this is a old 1926 um, postcard that's got the stamp on it and uh, I just thought that looked beautiful on that page so I really enjoyed making this as, as you know I like to um, mix things up and this was it was really nice to, to get in after doing my stash busting journals it was nice to come in and and uh, work on something different these are all old vintage <coughs> notepads that I had and I've cut them down so that just you know various sheets within it I'm um, here I've got this is one of the tiny Tim Holtz clips and then this is just a a tag I've made and I thought well you could do some journaling on each side of that and I've just attached it over that old book page that that, that particular book page I know is um, about 1906 that book came from and I've reinforced it with some washi um, so that when I sewed it in because the, the old book pages can be a bit fragile but that these are in very good condition for the age just a um, oh, one of the 9 by 12 um, no 9 by 6 envelopes that I've um, this one's been coffee dyed and then I've stenciled on it and done some stamping here uh, more of the old mother of pearl buttons I just love those I've, I've been fortunate I've, I've ran across quite a few of those so I've got a good bit of those in my in my stash so I'm trying to to use those in these old journals so here's some more just another little booklet that's been tucked in there and then this is some old, um, that was a French book page, but because I was putting the belly band, I wanted to reinforce that on the, with some washi here when it was sewn in, but then on the back because of the weight from that. So that's been reinforced and you could do journaling here as well. And some craft paper for interest. And then here's a little envelope. That's a Tracy Digital. Uh, from her shop, just some extra paper that I had and tucked that in there. And then just various um, bits of ephemera from my stash and a little bulb pin with another little flower there and that's been embossed and uh, distressed to go with it. Some more old lace um, here, just on another I just love these images. Those are um, Tracy's from Tracy's shop. They are absolutely gorgeous. And then this is a really old little, they were little old photographs um, and I picked up several little packages. Uh, they must have been souvenirs that you could purchase from various places because they were all themed. Um, so those were really cute and I, I don't know. I'm, Guessing probably 40s on those, but I don't know. Uh, here, some more collaging. I put a, a, one of the little pins. I just love that. And then this is just a, this was a freebie from Nick the Booksmith, and then I've added the cluster there. And then this little pocket I've made out of um, some baking paper. I uh, got a massive roll of that, so that's all been cut down and here's some more old trim from my stash I love that I don't have much of it but it's got so much um, design on that another um, tag that I've just clipped to this book page that's been gessoed and um, then this little like a coat hanger um, clip is really sweet um, this is kind of a tuck spot but it was more just to add some interest to that page because um, this is some parchment paper and I wanted to leave it so that there was plenty of room for journaling and I've just added these little little fake pearls at the end of the strings at the center of both of the signatures and then over here this is a my porch print she does the altered guest checks and uh, I've made a pocket out of that and then this is an Artie Mays digital and uh, just various things um, 
for my stash and this one opens up so you've got another little place you can do some writing paper ruffle old trims I've tried to add a lot of my um, the real vintage trims I've got within here and then this is another little altered journal card tucked in there another old mother pearl button And then this page just flips over and I've done some collaging there. And then some grid paper that I've made into a pocket. And little old um, library card there. <clears throat> Again, this is another one of those old, uh, this was Amsterdam. I just think those are really, really pretty. Uh, another page, I've done some light stamping on, added some trim to, and then again, it's been, I've backed it um, to this uh, French book page just for extra support. Their little tag and just extra bit of paper that I had, so some cheesecloth and a cut out there. And then this little envelope I've just clipped and it's got a a little note card. Yes, it um, didn't want to come out. That's a really pretty little card there. So yeah, there's a lot of roses in this. Um, so it, it has got a lot of floral theme, but love my florals and the vintage. Uh, this old German book page. <clears throat> Another page I've done some gesso and, and stenciling on and then some more uh, paper that's been gessoed and stamped. So going into the second signature I've got a fabric flip up here and just a little old pin. These were some safety pins I ran across um, recently and uh, I'll show you those. I snatched those up because those were really old. Um, really old ones. You don't see them like this and you can tell what a difference in quality versus what you were getting now from China. Um, so yeah, I, I snatched those up as soon as I saw them. They're really nice safety pins. <clears throat> it's funny the things are catch our eye when we're out. My husband always looks at me like, really? Don't you have about a thousand of those already? <laughs> yeah, but not like those. <laughs> Another little um, tag here and a bit of clustering here. And a bit more um, paper and some lace along that edge. Did some stitching. A bit of stenciling there and then here um, I love this uh, lace it is so delicate and then I found this little charm when I was back <clears throat> at Michael's this visit and I, so I picked that up and I thought oh that looks really pretty with that and then I just added another little bit of fabric there I, I love this journal it has such a nice feel to it um, there's just so many things that we look for in a journal, and, and this one just, I'm really happy with how it's come out. It's the nice size that I like. I love all of the laces, and it's nice to get, because um, I've been hoarding my laces for so long. It's nice to, to start putting those within the journals more and, and seeing those pieces. So this is just an envelope, and I left that open. You can add some things to it. This is an old uh, page that was gifted to me by Tracy, and I love that. Um, I'm on the lookout for more of this type of book page, but it's not easy. These things are getting harder and harder to find now. Um, as, you know, time goes on, we, we're finding it more and more difficult to run across good items. Um, another old pearl and some collaging there. Stenciling, got some gesso and a bit of stamping love that page and then um, here now this is some genuine 
I don't know what these were used for, uh, but I ran across these. That's dated um, 1934. And it was just one of those things. I bought a bundle of ephemera at the uh, flea market, and th there was just sheets and sheets of this. So I've just added some of that within, and then a couple of other little cards that you could do some journaling on there. Some more collaging. I love the embossing. Some more of that trim along the edge, and then again, a couple more pearls on the center of that signature. And then this page, um, now this is a um, My Porch print. She does these in her shop, and I, I just think those are so pretty. So a couple other cards. Now this is a, this was actually a printout, um, so this isn't genuine here. Just added a bit of metal there. So you could attach another charm if you wanted. I just felt like it needed the the metal against that. Some more trim here. And that's the back of that page. And then this is just a little uh, Project Life card that I altered. So you got a bit more writing for that. And then that's the uh, back of that envelope. So that's this room you can add something in that pocket as well. So I think there's still a lot of space for you to journal within this, but um, definitely much more em embellished than the last journals that I made. Um, again, some more paper that I had left over, and I just included that. That's been attached, and then that's a little altered paper clip with some extra fabrics and trims that I had. love how that page has come out. And then here, just another little journal card tucked in that pocket. And then this is the back cover. And in here, I've just added a little journal card. And then this is a uh, printout of an old receipt. I've just distressed that, and I love that um, little tuck there. I think that's really pretty. That's embossed, and then I've added lots of uh, fabrics, and then an old button there. And then this flips over, and you've got two more fabric pockets on the back that you can add some items to. And then when you close it, the back opens up, and you've got a pocket here. And this is one of Tracy's alteration um, from her faux ephemera. Um, so if you can't get your hand on genuine alteration tags, I highly recommend those. And then you could do some more journaling on this page or add photo, whatever. Um, and I absolutely love that image from that uh, homemaking book that I had. And then that's the spine. And then back to the front cover. So there she is. It's it's a big journal. That's about uh, probably a two. Yeah, it's about a two inch spine. And um, as I said, I'll do a page count <laughs> for the the um, listing. And if you're interested in this, this is going to be in my shop for sale. Um, and let me just set that to the side actually, because I've had a, a question from uh, one of my subscribers asked me why do I. Um, tend to use more tea dyed papers than coffee. Um, there is no other reason than just the, the, um, the difference in how they look. And I'll show you. Um, this is, <clears throat> let me try to pronounce this right because I really got told off about it. I think it's Rubas tea. You can see that gives a really nice, um, like a honey, a rich honey coloring. This is just black tea dyeing. You can see the contrast in that. And then this is coffee dyed paper. So that's the only reason, you know, I mix and match because I like within the journal for them to have a variety of shades. And even within just coffee dyeing, 
obviously the longer you leave it in the darker it's going to be so even that will have a variance but I just think it's nice to open up a journal and have all of the different um, uh, colors from you know trying different things and I'm working this week on some avocado dye because it's been a while since I've done that so um, so that's the only the only reason um, for me you know choosing one over another or incorporating all of them so I hope that's answered your question and um, I thank you guys so much for stopping by today um, I'll be getting on with some more journals this week so hopefully I'll be back very soon to share some new items um, I'll check check with you guys later and I hope you have a great week bye